Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty. Well, today I'm going to be doing another pearl pour. At least I hope I get some pearls. If you look back at my last video, you'll see I did a pearl, a swipe, some milk paint dots. So this is a 14 by 16, 14 by 18 canvas. Um, I have to make sure it's level. All you beginners. Uh, these big push pins, it's down in my Amazon links below. If you're interested, go ahead and click there and it'll take you there. So my canvas is level. So let's get going on this. <clears throat> so my pillow, or not my pillow, but my base flood coat is 50% Artist Loft White, 50% House Paint, this one's a satin enamel. I mean, other house paint might work. I would try it. <clears throat> Water and Liquitex pouring medium. Um, I know it's 50-50 on the paints. Probably, um, probably less than that on Liquitex pouring medium and then water. I didn't really measure. I just sort of added it. So I can't, I can't give you an exact measurement. <clears throat> now the paints I'm going to be using, some of the same colors from the last pour. This is um, Peacock Pearl, Deco Art Metallics, and Basics, what is it, um, Bright Aqua Green. These two together made this. This is mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium and Water. And it's pretty thin also. I think it might be a tiny bit thicker than the base, but thicker than what I did last time. This beautiful gold is Chroma Zandu Gold. And I'm throwing in a purple this time. This is a Basics. What is it? Dioxazine Purple. Okay, so this time I'm going to do a flip cup. Last time I just poured it on there. So I was going to try something different this time. So I want, I think I want the purple to come out last. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in first. But it's going to be a minimalistic pour here. I don't, I want a lot of negative space. This is some weird colors, I know. I think I'm only going to do one. Hmm, do I want to do one? I don't know. I'll pour a little bit, a little more purple in there. Just a tiny bit of each. Just a tiny bit. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to let that sit there. There's no silicone in these paints. The color on this is, uh, the satin enamel is Angel Food. It's bare. I just happened to get this at a garage sale and like, hey, it's like a brand new can. So it's not total white, but just a very light cream color, maybe. I don't even see the difference in canvas in this. All right, let's get going here. I took out the extreme sheen from last time because I didn't like how it was what it was giving me. Okay. Now I know from the last time that if you leave too much paint on it, you're not going to get the pearls. So you have to keep that in mind as you're tilting. And I would tilt pretty fast because if they start coming up while you're tilting, then they're not going to be round if that's what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Great, I got a hair in there, which is weird.
I think this is a little bit thicker of a base coat than I had before. It's still really thin, but thicker than the last time. The cells got a little bit wonky, if that makes sense, wonkiness. doing that I mean need a little bit more paint Oop. Okay. Go ahead and get that off okay it's pretty good it's not like water but it's pretty thin <clears throat> okay. Inspiration is Dwight Pores. I'll have his link down below. With his recipe, um, I don't exactly know what it was, but Floetrol didn't work for me. So I thought I'd give this a shot, and it seems to work. I wish it was Floetrol, because Floetrol is a lot cheaper than the Liquitex pouring medium. Although the Liquitex pouring medium is an art medium and it dries very clear on your painting and it has a shiny finish. I don't know how it is on that side. Okay, <clears throat> so I have this. Let's go for it. Some bubbles. Okay, give it a minute. That turquoise is really hiding here. It's starting to come out right here. But I'm going to go ahead and tilt and see what happens here. I think I'm going to tilt. It's sticking. Here. I'm going to tilt this way first. See what happens. This way. Last time my gold disappeared. Wow, this purple is really. The white's overtaking the color down there, which is sort of weird. Look at that. And I'm going to go ahead and go this way. Sorry, you can't see it. That gold and purple, I don't know. I'm getting some weird. I'm getting pearls, but I'm also getting some very strange. The purple's taking over. I don't know why. So we'll see what happens here. I'm getting some crazy pointy things here. I 
Sorry guys, I just have to tilt it the way I can tilt it. Okay, I had a lot of, way more paint than I wanted on there. So I'm getting a lot of cells. I don't know what's going on over here. The turquoise is almost gone. Getting a lot of pearls. Sorry. Just get that getting a lot of pearls up here. This is sort of weird. The turquoise is and the gold is pretty much gone. So I need to remember what brand and color paints react. And I know that turquoise, at least half of that Liquitex is an opaque color. And this dioxazine purple is, what is this? this will tell that I cover it up oh that's also an opaque color so the opaque colors usually um, you know get more pronounced in your pores I don't really like what's going on over here This is sort of weird. These little feelers coming out, the gold. I wish I would have tilted more of this off over here and use less paint. So reminder for next time. So while we're waiting, if you don't mind, go ahead and just push that notification bell. That way, um, I have a lot of videos coming up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, about, well, it's the negative space. People were calling it, like, I have my peacock colors with the Shelley Art Technique, negative minimalist. And um, I have a lot more of those coming up. And I don't know if y'all have a grocery outlet by where you live, but that Oak Chardonnay, I have to say, is a pretty good. It's very buttery. Anyway, cheers. It is about 7.30, so that's the rest of my wine from dinner. I will go ahead and bring you back in about 30 minutes and see what else happens. I was hoping to keep a lot of colors, but this is pretty cool over here. I wish more gold would have showed. I don't like that dot right there and I sort of want to get it, but I don't want to mess up either. So uh, Sometimes you just have to wait till the end be back okay it's been about 30 minutes and I wish more color would have come through I think it's very cool but the turquoise completely disappeared except for right down here that little bit and the gold disappeared except for these really cool tentacles or whatever they are. So, and I'm not thrilled about this. So when it dries, I might just pour the same paint and tilt it off. And even if I have a line of paint here, um, I think it'll look better than that. Just make it white. But overall, 
for my second one that really turned out, I'm pretty happy with it. Just don't use the opaque color so much. If you like this video and learned anything, please like and subscribe, push that notification bell. Check out my links below. Most of my materials are down there. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on pouring. Cheers.